Hello, y'all. It's 7.25 p.m. in the evening now. <clears throat> Thankfully, I have enough help for um four nights. I'm at a different hotel now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I had breakfast, but no lunch. But I, not long ago, got eat, done eating dinner. And, <clears throat> excuse me. I had, I mean, after I ate, I went to um brush and floss my teeth. And a piece, like with the flossers, not the regular floss, but the, the little flosser pick things. Um, for the first time, it had, um... The flosser, um, it had kind of broke and got, I don't know if it's still stuck in my teeth. So, that happened just now. And I had, um, like, sorry for TMI, but I don't know, some targeted individuals say that the gang stalkers and the weapons or whatever... Um, cause us mucus overproduction, and the, they that they weaken our immune system. Cause they trying to kill us, you know. So, um, I already mentioned with the tooth abscess, that has a lot to do with me having mucus overproduction, and so, <clears throat> excuse me, I had um. Uh, like a lot had came out, so that's why I'm coughing and clearing my throat and stuff. And I just blew my nose. Um, sorry for TMI, but I took a shower. Um, earlier, I didn't get to take a nap. I tried, but I think I may have had maybe a what felt like. 30 seconds of dozing off. So, on YouTube, the fake, uh, the satanic um, aquarium Doris perp, I mean, she tried to discourage me, you know, by trying to tell me that, um, that the job that I'm supposed to do. I mean, how could she say this? And I didn't even describe the job. I didn't even describe the job. But she tried to tell me that my job is labor trafficking. That basically that I would be a victim of labor trafficking. You know, so just because I said it's because the fake Darnell Williams perp was talking about going to hunt and search on Indeed, what job I got? Is he going to have to, I mean, how would he know? And so when I said it's not on Indeed, she automatically jumped to conclusion and falsely assumed that the job is a lab labor trafficking job. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so, and then she started to try to lecture me about how it's, um, how I'm not going to last long on a job and that I'm, she copied off my twin sister but call, call, trying to call me schizophrenic. And so, um, of course, I blocked that account because almost every day they come make fake new accounts to harass, and I keep blocking them. Reporting does nothing, and um, you know, I mean. 
So it's like. I forgot to mention that the other hotel earlier, they had a tall, skinny white man with glasses. And he pretended to be fake nice. But he, when I was walking on my way to get breakfast, he walked towards me and tried to corner me, um, trying to bump into me on purpose and trying to corner me into the wall. And he tried to make like as if he was trying to turn towards the hallway. And he was trying to bump into me and corner me on corner me in on purpose when he had the like all that lobby space and and he wanna you know trying to corner me in and try to bump into me on purpose. I forgot to mention that this morning. And then when coming from that hotel to this one. They had a guy, I wasn't sure if he was biracial or Creole, because we were in New Orleans metro area. He was walking two dogs, and when he, he tried to, we tried to cross the street, and he tried to bump into me on purpose. Well, he did bump into me on purpose and didn't say excuse me. You had all that space over there. So, I don't know. I'm feeling discouraged about the this possible job opportunity. Um, I don't even know if the fake aquarium Doris Perp, if she um knows more about the potential job opportunity than I do. <coughs> Excuse me. But I heard that the satanic gang stalkers that they have that they communicate with demons or have evil spirits come and telling them stuff you know and i heard that that's another a spiritual thing that that's another way they know everything about you and also <clears throat> excuse me with them hacking and stalking with the technology and everything that's another way. But I heard spiritually, they have demons, devils to come and, um, you know, send them information. So, well, if there's got to be a bad opportunity or no opportunity for the job, well, I guess I would be here for um longer or not even go out of state but I don't know yet but I have enough I'm covered for food and hotel for four days and after Wednesday like Wednesday well I'm gonna say not after but before Wednesday morning I'm gonna be needing more help out of the cold, um, out of the cold weather and stuff. And that's pretty much all my doggone money. Um, you know, so finally I, I realized they have a laundromat that I can wash a little laundry room where I can wash my clothes. For the first time since, um, last time I did any laundry and laundry was like in, I'm pretty sure it was August before I left Bloomington, Texas. But ever since being homeless and I've been hand washing my clothes. But when I was in, um, back in Pensacola in that apartment, I was, um, I had so much clothes that I didn't even need to do laundry, really, you know, for a long time. But that got messed up. So, but I'm glad I get to um get away to get my clothes washed in the laundry, you know. So, I need any and all the help I can get before, I mean, Tuesday.